Good morning, my faithful, loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is Saturday. It is November the 24th. It's approximately 11 o'clock in the morning. So I took a little time off. Um, I had to take a break. I had a lot of stuff I was trying to take care of. So I had to run around the so I didn't have time to. And then I went out of town. I went to the Bahamas for, went on vacation. I went to the Bahamas for the past week. For Thanksgiving, we just got back yesterday. I wish I was still in the Bahamas, but unfortunately, I am here. Um, had a great Thanksgiving. Took a cruise, a Norwegian cruise, down to the Bahamas, and we were there all week. And hit a couple of different Freeport, Nassau, and one of uh, the Norwegians private island. And I just relaxed. Had a great, I had a great time on the cruise for Thanksgiving. Um, we were there on the cruise Thanksgiving night and returned um, Friday and flew back to Atlanta. And here I sit back in this dreadful cold city. It's cold outside. It's probably about 50 degrees. But anyway, a few weeks ago, it was interesting. I bumped into a friend of mine who I had not seen in a long time. And I, w I was actually at Lenox Mall doing some shopping. And I saw a friend of mine who came up to me and was like, Walter, we, and this is a very close friend of mine. We hadn't been in contact in a minute. And he was telling me that he had just spent a year in New York with another friend of ours who passed away uh, from AIDS. And I was just like, ugh. I was kind of shocked because I never knew this person was even sick. I never knew that they, and then he explained to me this person had been battling HIV, um, was HIV positive and had, but had been dealing with AIDS itself for the past 15 years. So he was not only HIV positive, but he was actually, um, it had went, turned into AIDS and he would, had been dealing with that for the past 15 years which I didn't have no clue. And he finally died from the disease. And my buddy uh, was up there in New York with him when he died. And, he, and actually the guy left him some real estate, um, left them a lot of stuff um, because they were good friends for so long and he will in his will left him a home in New York City which is probably worth God knows that much money um, it just this was a home that the person the guy he had inherited from his family and he I guess willed it to my friend I'm not gonna say their names but anyway, while we were in the mall talking, he ran down all these lists of people who had died over the years. I mean, he this just went on and on. People I hadn't seen in a while, and I was, I was wondering, where is this person? And he said, this person died this year, this person died this year, this person died here, and he died there. And he just ran everything down to me. And it was just overwhelming to me because you always wonder when people disappear, what happened? And he stayed in contact with a lot of people. A lot of people, and he knew what they died of, what took place. Where it, it just, and he just, he knew. He, I've known that man since 1990, 1990. So you know, it's a long time. He knew we ran in the same circles of friends, and he he knew, knew more people than me because uh, he was a, he was just out there. He was the type of person who was a, um, a social butterfly. And he ran down this list of people, and it was just like I literally, I literally had to sit down in Linux Mall to take this all in, which I already knew. A lot of these guys had vanished, and I didn't know where they were. And now, now I was getting the answers to my questions, and it was just a little bit overwhelming. I had to take a break, y'all, because I was like, okay, this is wow, this is you know, it's just it can be overwhelming because you sometimes I look back at. Uh, over my life and I look at the people that I knew and I always think, well, what was so special? Why am I still here? And people I thought were, had so much more to offer to the world are gone, you know, and, um, bright, brilliant, smart, intelligent people. Um, the, my friend who died in New York, who had lived with, full, well, lived with AIDS for 15 years. He was, a. um, very intelligent man, and I, I knew he was doing financially well, but I didn't know how well he was doing. Never really asked, but um, I hadn't seen him in a while. 
it's just odd that when you when people disappear, you always wonder, well, where are they? And I always go online, Google and looking and looking, and you never find a person. And so a lot of people don't have Facebook pages or Instagram pages, so you don't know. And so for me to bump into him and get all these answers to my questions. Um Hey, I'm going to call you back in two seconds. Let me finish this video I'm doing. I'm going to call you back. I know. Bye. Sorry about that, but we were playing phone tag. That's my workout partner because I'm back in town. Um, I just I was trying to tell him not to start this video. Uh, so, anyway, it's just... But anyway, that was some of the, the things that was dealing with in my mind over the past... A uh, few weeks, um, which is very interesting. You lose a lot, and, I, and as you grow older, we're gonna lose people. People are gonna die, and we're gonna lose people. There's no way around it. I don't know why this phone is not being silent. That's silent, that. So you're gonna lose people. People are going to to die. You sometimes so basically, I got a, I, I got a ton of answers to a lot of questions I had in my head about a lot of stuff, and um, I thought that was and then going into the holiday season, it kind of had an impact on me, and then I was busy dealing with some issues I needed to deal with, uh, still dealing with these damn issues over here, and um, I just I said, you know, let me just take a mental, let me just take a break from videos for a minute. And, but I wanted to, the reason for me doing this video today was to talk about the young man who got killed, the Christian uh, guy who went on a mission to the island to save the, he was going to save the, um, the islanders, so he went on, he illegally went on an island and he was going to um, save these, these people. And they shot him with a bow and arrow, which is what they should have did. So he was a Christian evangelist, or I forget when they go on these missions. I forget what they're called. But he was out on, on a mission to, I'm looking for the story now. He was on a mission to go and meet with, um, he, first off, he went to the island illegally. He was not supposed to be there with these natives. He went over there and he was determined he, that he was going to share with them the gospel of Jesus. And they gave that motherfucker a bolt, uh, an arrow straight to his damn heart. So his name was American John Allen Cho, Cho Chow. Fatal encounter with an isolated tribe on the island. They did the right damn thing to take his ass up out of here too. The good thing is he's what his savior, Jesus Christ, in heaven. Yeah. Okay, so he knew he was facing danger going there, but he did it any damn way. He was a young American who died during an attempt to make contact with a remote tribe in the Indian Ocean. His waterproof Bible had been pierced by an arrow um, previously, but he was, he was still appear, appear determined to visit the North Centennial Island. And he wrote, in his journal, you guys might think I'm crazy and all this, but I think it's worthwhile to declare Jesus to these people. And they did, they thought it was worthwhile that they didn't want to hear about Jesus and take his ass out here. They even buried his ass on the beach. I'm not going to spend too much time on this food. But, you know, you, you go in some place, just think about how would the world would look like today if in Africa, when them Europeans came down to that from Africa, from Europe to Africa, they had been greeted with death. The Africans had to kill their asses, or the Indians here in the United States. When all these Europeans came over here, they should have shot. And, they should have took out bow and arrows and killed them too. The world would be a different place. Africa would be different. Every the world, you know, it's just. I commend those people for just start, for pulling out that bow and arrow. They didn't want to hear about that Jesus mess. They decided the best thing to do would be to get rid of him. And send him to go be with Jesus. And that's what they did. Very clear. I think it's a, I think it's a funny story about people who 
just insist upon infringing on other people's rights for their Christian, their religious beliefs, whatever it might be. I think he had he had coming. So, with that said, you know, I, 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 he's in heaven. He's with his Savior. He's with Jesus. Isn't that what everybody want to be? Isn't that what y'all want to be too? You, you people who believe in Jesus in heaven, isn't that way you want to be? My mother said she would die for Christianity. I was like, oh, not me. I'm looking at her like she's crazy. And he made the decision that he wanted to. He was so determined to share with them the gospel of Jesus that he was willing to die for it. And he did die. And they buried his ass on that beach. Sure they did. So, you know, maybe he got what he wanted. We'll never know. But anyway, this is going to be a short video because um, I got a bunch of stuff I need to do. But I'm going to come back and do another one. I got somebody here. I need to call my workout partner back and let him know what we're going to do. I know y'all haven't seen me in a few weeks. Yep. So I'm trying to get back in the mood to do a bunch of videos, which I'm going to do. Um. What's the one we're gonna do? Um, so, I'm gonna try to do some more videos today after I go pick up my Christmas tree. That's right. I'm a pagan. I celebrate Christmas holiday. Not the same Christmas some of y'all talk about from Jesus Christ. I'm a pagan, so I'll pull up a Christmas tree and decorate it. I'm gonna go pick me up a tree there. Um, I'll be waiting for Earl. I'll be like, I'll have to go wait and go. we gonna pick out a tree. I don't have time for that now. So, weeks will go by. I'm going to get a tree today. He just ran his ass up out of here. I'm going straight over to Pike Nursery, grab me a tree or a Home Depot, whoever got pretty dead. The Home Depot trees, trees tend to be a little bit cheaper. I'm going to run by there and see what they got. Throw that tree in the back of that truck. By the time he get back in that tree, he'll be sitting right here in his living room, standing up. Ah, this one, I just need to be decorated. So in a few hours, I will have a tree over here. I ain't thinking about his ass. I'm like, I want to go with Pete, pick out the tree. Last year, every year he does that, and he waits. He procrastinates to the last minute, and he says, "I don't feel like going." What? I done waited weeks to get this tree, and now you don't feel like going. Now I got to race out here and choose between what's left. No, I'm not. I'm not falling for that foolishness this year. I'm going to get a tree today. Anyway, I'll be back later on this afternoon. We'll be trying to do a couple of videos today to try to catch up. I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about. But I, again, I'm still amused about the Christian who, when we hear you all's thoughts and opinion about the young Christian evangelist, a missionary, through a missionary work who went illegally to an island and was shot and killed by a bow and arrow. Is he with Jesus now? I'd just like to get your thoughts on that. Anyway, I'm out of here. Today it is Saturday, November 24th. Uh, go down and do something productive today. I know some of y'all out there shopping. I heard that the malls were empty. I was watching a news report, and uh, they said the stores have been relatively empty here, uh, at least in Atlanta. The Linux Mall was empty. I mean, the stores, and while well, I went a couple of different places around the USA, didn't have the crowds of people for Black Friday. I think a lot of people just do internet shopping. Most of my people ask where did I get these shirts from. Where I get most most of my clothes, I order online because I can't find any the store, so I just go online where I can sit here in my house at twelve midnight ordering clothes, <coughs> and a few days later, it's here. So I don't have to go up to the mall and park and walk through the mall and find stuff and see the stuff. That, and it's just ridiculous. Although I did get, some, I got some good coupons in there for Macy's, and I might go by Macy's today because those they got uh, Macy's at Linux and see what they got. Because they got, um, I'm going to go up there and see. Anyway, if you like my videos, click like, share them with family members and friends. I got something to go by Macy's and spend these coupons and then pick up that Christmas tree and get back on. After I go by the gym, I am going to go spend some quality time at the gym, I guess. Anyway, if you like my videos, click like, share them with family members and friends. I'm out of here. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, and I look forward to seeing you all later on today. I'm out.